Good morning. TSA carry-on food rules for 2020 have changed. If you're planning on traveling in 2020, you need to be aware that the TSA, the Transportation Security Administration, has changed some of the rules regarding carrying on food. This is Arnie Jacobson TV, and here we talk travel, we talk cameras, we talk accessories. You're interested in any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button down below, click the bell icon, and so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. And make sure to check the show notes down below in the description for even more details. So I'm going to be looking at my notes here from time to time. So yeah, rules have changed for food. The new x-ray screening procedures for food are set to be rolled out uh, middle of June 2020, right about now. And food is no longer allowed directly into your carry-on or your personal carry-on as you're passing through screening. Food needs to be in a separate bag, separate transparent bag and put into the um, gray tubs outside of your carry-on. So food can no longer is no longer allowed in your carry-on or personal. It needs to be separated out from the rest of your carry-on baggage and put into the gray tubs in their own plastic bags. These changes apply to any solid food or snack that you uh, that had been allowed to be carried in your personal baggage up to this point. The reasoning behind this is because um, during the x-raying, the screening process, a lot of the food items are unidentifiable. They're just this mass. And that would require the TSA officers to pull you aside and open up the bag and look in there um, each time that occurred. And given the circumstances of COVID-19 and the transmissibility of the virus, obviously that's not something that they want to have happen. So again, you need to make sure that the food items are out of your personal bags in a plastic bag in a bin so it can be seen uh, by itself and you know looked at what this allows obviously is that the screening officers are not going to have to handle your your items as much reducing the likelihood of transmitting the coronavirus so you know it's it's a safety thing for everybody actually please keep in mind that Failure to follow these rules could really add a lot of aggra aggravation for you because you can be pulled out and sent back to the start of the line and made to go through the whole process again after you have repacked everything. Such a drag. So make sure that when you're home, you take those items, put them in a plastic bag. If you're somebody who takes food along, honestly, my wife and I just, <laughs> we just buy the stuff at the airport. I, yes, I know it's much more expensive, but it's just so much less hassle in the long run. So that's just our little thing. All right. So the rules, again, are very straightforward. Any food item that you're taking through security needs to be in a plastic bag, in the tub, separated from your carry-on. It's that simple. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Hey, if you like this kind of content, make sure that you subscribe, click the bell icon, give us a like, thumbs up or always appreciated, and share with friends who might be in need of this kind of information. And if you're traveling, please, please stay safe. Wear a mask for your good and for others. Thanks so much for watching. We do appreciate it. And we will see you 
in the next one.